conjunction conjunction means you should remember the term and if you are taken p and q are the two statements then the conjunction is defined as p and q so we can define the conjunction like this and now we can read we can read it as p and q to take truth value of it when p takes the value t as well as q takes the value t then only your p and q takes the value t other than this and all false okay this is about conjunction so what is mean by conjunction if you take any two statements p and q the conjunction can be written like this we can denote the conjunction as like this p and q okay and we can read that statement as p and q we can read this is the notation form and then the truth value of the conjunction is when both the uh, statements will have the value t then only the result will be t otherwise your result will be false so what is mean by conjunction the conjunction of two statements p and q is the statement p and q which is read as p and q the statement p and q has the truth value t whenever both p and q have the truth value t otherwise it has the truth value false example we are considering the first statement as p it is raining today and another statement q was there are 20 tables in this room using these two simple statements see that these two are simple statements are atomic or primitive statements the conjunction of the two statement is defined like this p and q take the first statement and write it is raining today put the conjunction and you write the second statement as it is there there are 20 tables in this room this is the way you can form a conjunction statement take any two simple statement in between the two simple statement you just put the word and and you write the statement that will give the conjunction of the statements second example the sun is shining now is a first statement and the second statement what i have taken is 2 plus 2 equal to 4 therefore your conjunction of the two statements can be defined as p and q equal to the sun is shining now is the first statement and i have taken the conjunction word and the second statement 2 plus 2 equal to 4 so therefore your p and q can be written as the sun is shining now and 2 plus 2 equal to 4 is the result wherever you are seeing the word and it is not a conjunction for an example jack and jill or cousins so by seeing this word and we cannot able to say it is a conjunction it is not a connective why it is not a connective and means it is joining the two persons so that means jack is not a statement it is a name and jill it is also not a statement these two are the names so therefore the and what we are used here is not connective because when connective if you define it should be joined two simple statements jack and jill are not a statement it's a just a name so therefore it is not a conjunction dhoni and sachin or cricketers dhoni and sachin are cricketers by seeing the and you should not say it is a connective why if you take and uh, before that it should be a statement and after that also it should be a statement okay but if you observe that dhoni is not a statement okay similarly sachin is also not a statement just it is a word we are connecting the two names that's it okay so therefore it is not a connective 
you should always careful about it whenever you are using the conjunction the truth table of p and q as well as q and p both are same then only we can call the statement as conjunction we are going to form the truth table for it p as well as q so therefore we will have how many combinations we will have totally four combinations how we are getting that 2 power 2 is the possible ways so 2 power 2 is 4 so therefore we will have four truth value combinations so similarly if you are using three variables how many combinations are possible 2 power 3 8 four variables we are using p q r s so 16 is the possible four variables are there it is four we have to take so 4 into 4 it is 16 suppose if you are using three variables it is 2 power 3 that is 8 i'm going to explain how to what write the combinations 2 power 2 is 4 you take the 4 and make half of it so 2 power 4 uh, that is 2 power 2 4 if you make half of that is 2 divide by 2 if you put your result will be 2 truth value can be written like this two two terms we have to write this is p and this is q this is p and q we can write later two two we have to write how we can write two two see here first i'm going to put two t's this is two two remember two two t t f f two t's two f's so i have written two two so again you make half of it that is one so to write the next column we have to make one one day one t we have to write one f we have to write similarly one t we have to write and one f we have to write terms we are written like this now i am going to write the truth value of it we already discussed when both the statements will have true then only the conjunction result will be true t and t is t then other terms are false so this is the truth table for conjunction how to write the combination for 2 power 3 2 power 3 is 8 so make first half of it half of it means the result will be 4 okay so now i'm going to write p q r these three variables we are going to write the combination four t's we have to write then four f's we have to write so four t's four f's you should write first so then make again half of it so if you divide the four by two what the result your result will be two so therefore next step we have to make two two terms of the truth value see here t t f f t T. then again f f so then finally again you make half of it that is one so therefore we have to write one t one f one t one f one t one f one t and one f so if you use this method we can easily write the combinations 